Wait, we're, we're live? You're live. We're All live. right. You're Yay. live. Hey, we're live. This is Matt. I'm Jen. We're from Hit Record. Welcome to our live stream. We're coming to you from Park City. Now, this is like, I, you, this is your first time coming. Yes, and this is like my second time in the snow ever. <laughs> second time in the snow. So it's crazy. And we've been to Sundance at, as Hit Record, you know, going back all the way to 10 years. That's when Hit Record launched. And this is my third time coming here. This place is magical. This place is amazing. And last night, if you didn't already see our live stream, we had our first Hit Record Live Labs live show. I mean, this, this was nuts, right? It was just absolutely crazy, was, absolutely amazing. Yes, it was amazing. And one of my favorite parts about Hit Record events in general are meeting community members who we've known for years and then ones that just signed up and new people who like became members last night. That's right. And we got to meet a whole ton of new people, as Jen said, and the room was electric. There was tons of collaboration, stuff that we'd never been able to do before. And I think that's the most like amazing part of the whole event, like the fact that people could download the app and you know, then they could contribute live and they could see the remix process. They could see exactly how a project comes to be. Uh, and I think experiencing that, that's the, that's the electricity of the collaborative process, the creative process. Uh, gotta say a big, huge, amazing, enormous thanks to the folks at Zappos. We are rocking, uh, I got a beanie, Jen's got a sweatshirt. sweatshirt. The Hit Record X Zappos, see, see. Uh, huge thanks, you know, not only was it cool to have Zappos support this big production last night, that live stream to the whole world, but it was amazing to see Tony get up on stage to talk to Joe and talk about the core values that uh, really align both Hit Record and Zappos uh, in the, the type of creativity and positivity we're all trying to bring to the world. So again, huge thanks. Uh, and if you didn't already know, tomorrow night, there's another live stream, live event, Hit Record Live Labs. 7 p.m. PST, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, other time zones, I don't know, you have to look them up. Uh, but we'll see you there. The website, I'm gonna plug it, sundance.hitrecord.org, everything will live stream through there. And this is just one of four episodes that we're gonna be doing from Park City every, every day after, well, I'm misspeaking. Today we're doing one, then we're going to do the big live show tomorrow. Then we're going to be doing more of these live streams from various parts of Park City. So this is episode one of four. And you know, what we're going to be covering today is uh, not only talking about uh, some of the events that happened last night, but we're also going to be premiering a couple short films that we're going to be so proud to present these to you guys. These, are, these haven't premiered yet, so this is an exclusive. I know there's a big buzzword on the internet, <laughs> but it's exclusive and it's going to be really cool to see all the, the great collaborative efforts that the community did over the past few months yes. uh, in the Zappos partnership. So we have two short films coming your way. Stay tuned for those. We're also going to be talking about a community project and uh, we also have some calls to action, some prompts that you guys can do on your phones right now. Should we, we should contribute live to you. Might as well, right? Might, might as well. We're at when in Sundance. Um, the first thing we want to talk about, actually, is one of the prompts that uh, was opened last night's show. And this is a really fun one. It's actually a Sundance tradition for Hit Record. We call it Roll Call. Um, so I'm going to pick up my computer, actually, and uh, we're going to try to show the screen up here. Let me know when you, when you see that. Can we see it? Let's I'm going to zoom in on it now. Okay. Perfect. So this is a project Joe launched last night. It's called Roll Call in caps, Sundance Live Labs. So this whole project was a way to introduce folks that were in the room across the world, uh, introducing themselves or anybody that they were watching the live stream with. Yeah, that includes pets. Somebody contributed a plant that they were watching it with. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So I want to just shout out a few, a few uh, folks here. Uh, I love this one from Abra96. Look at this. They were oh, contributing. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very f different climate than. Yeah, I want to go there. Jen wants to go there. I want to go there too. Wait, go up. Oh. I like the, I like the little head. The little oh, head in yeah. the dark room. Let's A classic. Look, let's look at sofas, this. Sofas, sofas. That's an amazing shot. Look at that minimalism. Amazing. Amazing. Let's see other ones. James B. Rocking James the B. hit record box set. And a cat. We cannot forget the cat. <laughs> Maya and me from D.D. Hughes. Let's see. Oh, Dr. Duke. Awesome. He's got his 808 up there. He was a part of the show, too. He was part of the celebration of Hit Record. It's 10 years. 
uh, it was a highlight to show how he contributed uh, a piece of music on his 808 and then it turned into an amazing piece by Metaphors. Um, love this. <laughs> oh, Ginger. Jen's in love with Ginger. Love. <laughs> C.A. Newman over there. Look at that. Great shot. Everybody else. There's tons of them. Uh, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to now segue into a big premiere. Uh, I'm going to put my computer down for this. Uh, we are going to premiere. There's, take a seat, folks. Yeah, take a seat. <laughs> lean back. Uh, we're going to premiere one of the short films we made in collaboration with Zappos. This one's called Deliver Wow Through Service. And this is one of Zappos' core values. So for those of you at home that don't know what a core value is, it's like a, it's, it's a, it's a like principle. It's like something you believe in. It's something you exercise every day in your daily life or in your workplace. Uh, this is an incredible piece that the community put together. Uh, it really speaks for itself, but it also speaks to how different people can build on one another's thing. Not, a, not one person can ever make you know, this entire thing. Everybody's contributing bits and pieces and other people are downloading, remixing, building upon that. And what resulted here is just a really beautiful thing that 133 different people from around the world, from 12 different countries all contributed to into the final piece. Uh, it really speaks for itself. So let's play it. And Ray's gonna hit play right about now. Right now. Right now. Yep. Hey, why when it's walking out of your way to help? Whispering only wonders that are making your love melt. Uh, and wanting only to win, not for yourself, but for your team. Watching that dream become reality, that mentality swell. When pressure weighs you down, you're find social gravity standing out of the crowd. Cause I believe in this now, I say it loud. I wish you only y'all made your days, people look wow. It just happened last week and it was really wonderful. I thought that there's hope <laughs> in this world. Wow. My car stalls, and I was like, this can't be happening. Make them all safe. I think it was probably about like five people who didn't know me stopped and took their time to help push. Wow. To ask if that was okay. Wow. To come and help when they didn't have to. And say, Whoa. Oh, wow. 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 Make them all say, wow. wow. We had breakfast outside in a large terrace with other guests and with my husband we couldn't be sitting together because of our baby boy who couldn't keep still, he was always running, running. So one of us was eating at the table while the other one was running after the baby. Wow. And we switched every five minutes. Wow. One of the employees who looked like a grandfather came to us and said, please sit down and have your breakfast together for once. I look after the baby. Wow! Then he took our son in his arms and showed him flowers in the garden while my husband and I were quietly having breakfast together. Wow! Make them all say wow! 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 wow. 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 ice hockey or some sort of hockey. There are two men that were there that I think they both were actually like real hockey players and they joined in with us. Wow! The one guy, like he was super, super good and he passed me the puck and I was not good. <laughs> And he passed me the puck a couple times. Wow! Just being given a chance, letting me be involved and letting me try was huge for me and I remember it to this day. Wow. I was in Colombia and I was getting on a 10 hour bus ride and a few hours in I realized that I had lost my phone. And this woman saw me looking for it and she could see the panic on my face so immediately she stands up and like claps. Wow. And just tells all the kids on the bus to jump down on the floor and crawl under the seats and look for my phone. Wow. And so all the kids are down there like scrambling. You know, sometimes you, you look at the news and it's just, it feels so grim and makes you question so many things. But that day I was like, yeah, there's still some hope that some people do still care. You just never know the power of, you know, actually looking at somebody and acknowledging them. That can mean a lot. Little things like that made me feel like my faith in humanity is a little restored. Just these simple things can make someone's day. Like it doesn't cost you money necessarily, it costs you time and that time is seconds. 
but the benefits of it are enormous. Like just feeling good that you're waiting for half a second to hold the door for someone who maybe their hands are full, maybe not. Maybe they're looking down at their phone. Maybe they don't even notice you, but you notice them. And I think that's what matters most. Look at you now, doing those things that you do somehow. Oh, wow, so impressed with the way you're dressed. You knock me out somehow. Hey, wow. Look at you, look at you, look at you, look at you now. Wow. Thank you for being so wow. Hey, we're back. Are we back? We're back. All right. Hey, <laughs> let's let's all give a round of applause to that piece. Yeah. Big thanks to everybody who contributed to that. I mean, there's tons in the in the project, and then everybody who contributed contributed all different types of things that you saw in that. It's all collaboratively made. If you want to go watch that again, which I know you're gonna want to, go to Zappos' YouTube page. You can go watch it, and uh, you know, again, drop a comment. Celebrate all the the great work by the Hit Record community. So many so many people contributed to this, and and it's really uh, a really beautiful piece. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, you know, as we do. The collaboration doesn't just stop when we finish something. You know, that's a great finished piece. It stands on its own. However, we want to continue the collaboration. And I just dropped a new uh, prompt on the set. It's uh, an on-camera prompt. And the prompt says, you know, uh, yell wow or whatever in on camera in some kind of weird, unexpected way. Um, it, I don't know. It, what do you? You, you gotta you want, do it. You want, you want yeah, you right. gotta do it. All right, we'll, all right, we'll do it. So I'm, I got the Hit Record app open on my phone right now, and I'm going to film it. Um, since it's supposed to be weird, I'll do something weird. All right, ready. Wow! That was a little much. <laughs> Always a little much. I was actually going to not go that loud, but then I was like, fuck it. Uh, so I'll contribute that in a little bit. Uh, I also was told during the while we were screening everything that there's been some comments about the, the beanies. The beanies in the sweatshirts. People love them. People love, like, this is now my new favorite beanie. I'm going to be rocking this all week. Uh, again, big thanks to Zappos for creating this cool stuff. And, and also thanks to Mark and the Maid Shop for making the lockup. I mean, the, the logo is really cool. You can go check out the key art on the site. And of course, remix it. If you see, <coughs> if you see colors that you like, download it, remix it. Gazoon tie it to Laura. <laughs> <laughs> And what we want to do now is continue the collaboration and, and continue this discussion about projects on Hit Record. And one of the projects we want to talk about is from an awesome contributor. They've been on the site for five years. Her name is Sambuca. And we're going to play a little video introducing her project about one of our favorite topics, regret. regret. Yeah. I mean, regret, I think, <laughs> at, at some point, like, regret can be like a big downer. But at the same time, I'm a big fan of like the fact that regrets can help us move forward. They can help us evolve. And what better way to channel our feelings about regret than into a collaborative project. And she's an awesome contributor. I'm going to let her speak for herself and introduce her project. And we'll talk a little bit more about it. Ray, are you going to hit play right now? Hit play. Ray's going to play. Hi, everyone. My name is Sambuka. I've been on Hit Record for five years, nearly six years now. Thank you for coming by and checking out the city poem on regret. I started the Cine Palm on Regret um, because it felt like it was one of those where something you didn't do, something you didn't say, that kind of feeling of a missed opportunity. We have had two amazing writing challenges and people have contributed all of their thoughts and feelings and some really, really heartfelt deep regrets. So thank you to everyone who's contributed so far. And now we're at the point where we need a finished script for the voiceover actors to perform. That's one to two pages long. That should give us a cine poem of about two minutes thereabouts. And I've already gone through all of the previous writing submissions and combined them, uh, the ones that work really well together, into one text document. But it is just a guide. So when you have a look at it, if you think Mm, I have a different idea. I, I can see this being done a different way. Completely fine as well. Give it a go. So yeah, script, one to two pages. And I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. Thank you again for coming by and thinking about our project. Bye. Hi. I'm told we're back. All right. Thanks so much to Sambuka for that video. Uh, 
awesome contributor to the site, awesome member. Congratulations on five years on the site. Uh, I want to talk just a second about the writing step. You know, she did a great job outlining what she's looking for, but I think the really important part is uh, how did she get there, right? Through asking people to literally write like something that they regret. And I think that that's such an interesting topic. As I said before, I think regrets are a big part of our lives. If you're not making regrets, you're probably not living, right? That's a, such a stupid quote. Why I say that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like gonna be like on a bumper yeah, sticker I, somewhere in Park I get City. That tattoo. Like, I was gonna say, perfect tattoo. <laughs> yeah, get a tattoo and upload that to the site. Remix me. Why do I keep talking about this? Doesn't matter. Uh, so what I, what I really like about this project is she's basically asked everybody in the, in the prior weeks to contribute little bits and pieces of people's personal lives, like their personal experiences about regret. And then what she's done is remix them together into this really great outline. So when you go into her project, you'll see how she's basically taken all these different contributions and proposed a step forward. She's also leaving it open, which is cool too. So she's giving a nice level of like guardrails of how to contribute and she's giving great guidance. Awesome project leader. I highly recommend that everybody checks out that, that project. Um, but then again, you don't have to contribute a whole two-page script. You don't have to go that far. You can do little bits and pieces again, or you can maybe do the first act. Anything that resonates with you, go for it. Uh, we'd love to, to follow up on this project, maybe perhaps in another live stream. So if you're, if you're really resonating with this project, check it out, contribute. Um, now we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna just keep it moving, keep right? Keep going. We gotta keep this entertaining and moving. Uh, we got another big <laughs> premiere. Don't stop. Don't stop. I wanna preface this by saying, again, this is another collaboratively made piece of art. All these different contributors from around mm -hmm. the world contributed around this other core value of Zappos. And this is another one that uh, I think we hit record. Really, if you're, you know, you have a, your sights set on something, be passionate, be, be determined to, to get there. It's possible, step by step, take a big leap. Contributions to this from 62 members of our community from 11 countries all over the world. Um, these are all amazing artists who are lending, you know. Ray, you ready to hit play? Boom. Hit play, Ray. Ow, ow. <laughs> ah, passion. Nelly. I've been feeling that a lot lately. It's like all the body immediately speaks of uh, being interested. There's a certain amount of joy that you see in a person's <laughs> eye when they're really into something. I hate weddings. All the happy people. Boo! An old boss of mine flew off the handle, was yelling at me for some reason or another. Later on in the day, he actually apologized to me and said, Hey, you know, Eric, I'm sorry. I'm just very passionate about what I do. And my response was, you weren't being passionate, you were just being an asshole. In hindsight, maybe we were both right. Some people like to express that passion loudly. Yeah! yeah! They are full of enthusiasm. <laughs> Other people, they like to keep it to themselves. I sometimes write in a locked online journal, and that's all I'll say about that. I knew I wanted to be a singer and guitarist since about 10 years old. I was very passionate, still passionate about it. And in my 20s, I got married and had kids and needed to make money. The rock stardom never came, but I started playing in cover bands to meet other musicians. It doesn't always become the thing you thought it would be, but you can keep chasing what you're passionate about. One thing I am determined to do in my life is to be a filmmaker. I have at least one novel traditionally published. The novel is written, it's edited, I am querying it. It's hard to have this total stranger say, mm, no. But I keep doing it. It took about three to four years to get my black belt in karate. This was something that was really important to me, and the final testing day was like eight hours of doing everything you had learned. It was one of the most challenging and rewarding things I've ever done in my life. Like, I can look at that belt and be like, I accomplished something. I put my hard work into this. I pushed through and I made an effort and I did it. My mom was a nurse and worked at the hospital. And I always wondered how she was able to do such a job. She's a silent, passionate person. And once she said to me, I don't like my work, but I have to do it. 
first I was surprised, but I finally understood the meaning behind a sentence. It wasn't a question I had to go to work to pay the bills, it was more I have to do it because for me this is the right thing to do. She wanted to contribute to the society, to fix things, and she saw terrible things during her duty. She knew the value of life. Um, she wanted to help people, to take care of them, and she did it. Night after night, during years, a true commitment. For me, passion is a strong feeling coming from your stomach, your heart. It's always linked to deep convictions, or uh, ideals, convictions that resonate with you and you determine to fight for them. give another huge round of applause for that video and everybody who contributed. Yes! I'm blown out. Of you. We're gonna go over to Zappos' YouTube page. You can watch it. Uh, again, big thanks to everybody who contributed to that and, and who put all their passion behind those contributions. And I want to ask you, Jen. If you had to like pick like horses, I've had them for 16 years now, and I'm very passionate about them. They like grew up with me. We were young. One I've had since before she was. Since That's late. a good answer. Okay. That's a good answer. Yeah. So we also have put together a, a new prompt for you guys. It's they're invisible bonus points, but you get bonus points if you post a photo of yourself and your passion, like you doing the pat the thing you're passionate about. So I want to see. The, just interesting stories. The more unique, the better. You know, so if it is something about horses, like yeah. maybe it's the the caretaking of them, or maybe it's like um, you know something specific, like taking care of their hooves. Wait, you say hooves? <laughs> their hooves. 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 It's like that scene. No one says. It's a new no challenge. one says hooves. Horse oh. hooves. <laughs> it's, it's like that scene. Okay. Uh, Edward like, says hooves. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, Edward, he says hooves. Definitely hooves. Hubs. But wait, wait. Can we have the live stream tell us? Correct. Yes, let us know. Yeah, let us know. But Matt didn't say his passion. Oh, my passion would definitely be, I would say, like movies, right? So not just move like going to the movies is part of it, but then I think like what what I always get out of going to the movies is going to want to be, you know, I wanna I leave the movie wanting to be creative or I I leave the movie like jealous or envious. And I think that that's actually where a lot of passion and determination comes from. You see somebody acting amazing or or doing some kind of like cool camera trick and you're just like you want to figure out how to do that. But then not only do you want to figure out how to do it, you also want to figure out how can I make that unique to me like to tell my story or some sort of thing whether it's true, a true story or something you're completely making up, whether it's about horses or something like that, you know, whether it's about hooves or hoofs or something, I don't know. But, uh, but I, you know, it's movies. And being in Sundance, like, I'm looking right outside and there's premieres and stuff right down the street. This is the type of uh, cool creative climate that we're so fortunate to be a part of. So I want to say big thanks to Zappos for making this, this possible for us to live stream today, for us to be doing the Hit Record Live Labs, for these fucking awesome beanies <laughs> that, that are just absolutely the best. Um, thank you, Zappos. Thank you, thank Zappos. You. Yeah. Also, I would say, if you didn't already know, we, already, we mentioned at the top, but if you're new to this viewing thing, this stream thing, uh, we are doing another Hit Record Live Labs tomorrow night, 7 p.m. PST, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 10 p.m. EST, <laughs> bunch of other time zones, I don't know, mm -hmm. that you'll have to look up. What's China time? Uh... uh what part yeah. of Wait. Four is... 14 hours ahead. Four is... Four... 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 CT? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Four CT. That was a good... You gotta look at it. It's like 5 a.m. No. That's all right. There, well, that's actually, wrong. That's, wrong. that's worth mentioning too because a lot of the, the folks last night on, on Twitter and, and on the like chiming in on the Facebook live stream, they were talking about what time zones they're on. And then if you look through the roll calls and stuff that we went through before, yeah. people are, are chiming in through and they're watching live from all different places in the world. 
all different time zones. There's people that were like 4 a.m., 2 a.m., they had big pots of coffee, uh, and that's, that's like amazing, like the fact that you're committed to, to doing it. So download the app too if you don't have that. That's, that's something worth playing. Oh, yeah. Download Definitely. the Hit Record app. Chrissy, regularly let us know that that's 2 p.m. GMT. Oh, FIM. thank you, Chrissy. <laughs> 2 p.m. Oh, for the for the China time? Yeah, no, sorry. No, no GM, uh, England, England, England. England. Oh, in oh, Seattle. GMT. I don't, I don't, I, my time zone. You hang out with are, Edward, and you don't know what a GMT no, is. No, I have no idea. <laughs> it sounds like GMT. I, I know Edward three time zones. That's it. Oh, okay. Well, there well, you go. We're learning something new every day. Uh, <laughs> let's see what else to talk about. We're also going to be doing more of these live streams. This is again episode one of four. So keep tuning in. One thirty Mountain Time uh, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And we'll continue collaborative discussions and uh, follow up on stuff we talked about today. Talk more about Live Labs. We'll do all kinds of crazy stuff. I'll be hopefully making more screaming uh, at some point. I'll just oh, jump okay. in and scream and contribute something. And uh, I don't know what else we got. I don't know. I think that. Hooves. Do you want oh, to show hooves. them the snow? Wait. Everyone says hooves. No, they don't. <sighs> hooves. We got hooves. <laughs> Everyone saying who? Yeah, we got Tinderwalk and Caroline Ag saying mm. hooves. Yeah, hooves. thanks guys. No, no, wait, Team Jen, not Team Matt. No, I'm hooves. 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 Ho it's hooves. Yeah. Hooves is what is what but, everyone's saying. Thank hooves. you, Lexi. Well, so they're Team Matt. I guess they are Team Matt. That's right. <laughs> that, that was a cheese. That was a cheese. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, check out everything over on Zappos' uh, YouTube page for all the great premieres we had today, all those exclusives. And check us out on hitrecord.org. And we'll see you again tomorrow night for Hit Record Live Labs. Whole new show in store. Get that app. We want to see you contributing. And uh, I don't know. We have nothing thank else to you. say but thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. We'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.